remarks. Ma'am, the floor is yours. Good evening to you all. Let me uh, first of all thank Prime Minister Modi uh, and uh, India as a whole for the wonderful welcome that uh, has been given to us. And this is a further uh, evidence of our hospitality, which is known the world over. But this is a further evidence of the uh, deep friendship uh, uh, that uh, uh, is uh, uh, uniting our respective countries, and we are celebrating the uh, 75th year uh, uh, of such relations. Uh, and uh, this has also been proven uh, by the fact that uh, uh, this is my first uh, bilateral uh, uh, visit uh, in uh, this uh, region uh, ever since I took office. Uh, and uh, we want uh, to uh, uh, further boost uh, this uh, relation, uh, and uh, this is the reason why we have decided to uh, turn our partnership in a strategic partnership, uh, because we have a very solid relationship. Uh, uh, just uh, let me mention uh, the trade relation. Uh, let me just mention uh, that uh, um, in terms of uh, uh, trade between Italy and India, uh, we have reached uh, the record figure of almost 15 billion euros, which we have almost, and in two years we have more than doubled this trade, but we firmly believe that we can do even more than that. Uh, we are firmly believe uh, that uh, the, for instance, uh, um, reinserting direct flags, uh, flights uh, between India and Italy can facilitate uh, trade and investments. Uh, and uh, this is a strategic uh, choice that we are making here, because as you know, the Italian government has uh, decided uh, to uh, uh, project uh, intense activism in the Mediterranean Sea. And when we talk about the enlarged uh, uh, Mediterranean, this means that it also includes this area, because uh, uh, it, the Mediterranean uh, Sea is interconnected with the Pacific, uh, and we want to further increase this interconnection. Uh, we have many Similarities. We are two peninsulas. Uh, we have two. We are two thousands old tradition. Uh, relatively younger uh, states, uh, regions uh, which have hard fought uh, for their independence, uh, for their freedom. So I think uh, that. There are many elements which bring us uh, close to each other uh, to, for the uh, preservation of identity, which is one of the basic conditions uh, to preserve the rights of one's own people. So there's a lot to be working on together, um, starting from some sectors where we want to enhance our cooperation. Let me mention defense, uh, defense which was mentioned by the Prime Minister, uh, and uh, energy uh, security. Security. Uh, India uh, has set up uh, major objectives uh, in this connection. India wants to work uh, in terms of uh, uh, energy coming from renewables, uh, and I think this is a very smart decision, and this is a sector wherein we can uh, cooperate, uh, uh, and uh, we have full convergence on this. Uh, and then uh, we have to mention digital transition. We are working on very important projects uh, which uh, are uh, connecting our two respective countries uh, on this. And then emerging technologies, uh, cyber security, space. These are all strategic uh, issues, uh, sectors on which we want to work together. And I think that much more can be done. We 
As the Prime Minister was saying, we have decided to uh, adhere to the Indo-Pacific Oceans Initiative, and we have done so because we firmly believe that in an international scenario, which has to be based on rules of respect of sovereignty and territorial integrity, it is very important to guarantee stability and the vision of an Indo-Pacific which is open and respectful of the rules of sovereignty and of integrity of the nations. And this now brings me to another uh, topic, uh, uh, the major shock that now Shins, uh, have been facing uh, uh, the pandemics and today the international crisis with the Russian aggression on the Ukraine, the impact on uh, world security, the uh, world order which is based on rules uh, and food security, energy security, especially for more vulnerable countries. These are issues which become uh, of the essence uh, where now that India is, uh, has the presidency of the G20, because I think that India can very well represent, in terms of even of leadership, uh, represent the requirements of the uh, countries of uh, the global south. And we definitely do want to, to give a helping hand along this process to India. Uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, knows uh, very well Italy's uh, position, uh, which is giving uh, full support uh, to the uh, territorial integrity uh, of, the U of Ukraine. And we both uh, hope uh, that uh, uh, India, uh, has in, having the presidency of the G20, may play a central role in facilitating uh, a negative negotiating process uh, for the cessation of hostilities for a just peace. And uh, I think uh, that in the previous uh, Bali G20 summit, uh, it has been important uh, to uh, hold the, the uh, multilateral community united. Uh, and we hope uh, that the Indian presidency can be, do even uh, more on this uh, uh, and further confirming our friendship. Uh, so um, uh, Prime Minister Modi uh, knows that he can uh, rely on us, uh, on our cooperation, uh, full round support for uh, the uh, uh, upcoming G20 Indian summit, G20 summit. Uh, they can rely on Italy, on our government uh, to further enhance our uh, relations. Uh, I firmly believe that there's a lot that we can do together and uh, um, uh, I'm not sure if this will lead me to the approval rate that the Prime Minister Modi has reached. I think he's the, the, the most loved one of all around the world. Uh, but I mean, this has really proven uh, that he has been a major leader, and congratulations for that, Prime Minister. This concludes the press statements. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Good afternoon.